Hey guys, how's it going? This is Richard Milan here from FactsFromGmail.com and what I have for you here today is something that many people have literally been demanding from me via email uh, from the contact form from my website uh, FactsFromGmail.com That's a step-by-step -step guide on how to fax from your Gmail uh, which is literally very easy you are literally going to be able to watch this video and then sign up for a fax service and start faxing from your Gmail account or any uh, mobile device uh, from your computer, Mac, Windows, it doesn't matter, it's just a matter of minutes. It's very simple and it seems to be something that you guys are really demanding from me so I really want to provide a video that helps you learn how to do it step by step. It's very easy and here it is. So to start, you have to go to your Gmail account. If you don't have one, sign up. It's free. And after you sign up with an online fax service, which is easy, I'll get to that in a moment, uh, all you do is open up a new email. And this is where the magic begins. In the to area, you're going to put the fax number that you're sending to. So say the area code, uh, New York area code 914. And then the number, just make up a fictitious number. Okay. I don't know if I have too many numbers in there, but it doesn't matter, it's just fake. Alright, and instead of putting, you know, an email at gmail, at hotmail, at whatever.com, this is where you're going to put in the uh, domain of the online fax service you've signed up with. So, let's make it simple. Say you signed up with Ring Central. They'll send you an email with this, with this information just in case. You're going to put at rcfax.com. Simple as that. Don't worry, you'll get an email with this information or just you know check the how-to guide on the service you signed up with. It tends to be very easy. Um, so for Ring Central it's rcfax.com. So what this does is when you send the email to rcfax.com, Ring Central receives this email, they turn it into a fax, and they send it over to the fax number uh, that you're sending to. You know, you don't have to do anything, just click send and you're done. So in the subject, you're going to put the subject of your email, say, uh, I don't know, important um, letter to HR department. Oop. Sorry for my bad spelling, it doesn't matter. Okay and then in the message area you can put any message you like uh, please read this ASAP and then you can make any attachments you can make attachments uh, it can be a PDF, it can be a Word document, it can be an image, it doesn't matter most companies accept, accept a variety of attachments that you can use so this is um, you know very easy and once you make any attachments you know check everything make sure your numbers right just click send and that's it you're done you don't have to worry about anything, it's already being sent. And going back to the services that you may want to consider, I went ahead and did all the research for you, you're welcome. And here on the site factsfromgmail.com, you can scroll down and you'll see the best Gmail fax services of 2013. It's easy, you know, you can sign up for these for free. I'll repeat that you can do this for free for up to 30 days okay so you don't have to pay anything you will have to insert your credit card but just be sure to cancel before your 30 day trial is over in case you don't want to continue with the service all right but you'll be able to enjoy the entire service completely free you can do that with ring central with nextiva with myfax with efax and even one sweet fax has a free trial all right so each service is different depending on what type of faxing need you have Alright, so just check through the review. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact me via the contact form on the website. Hope this video has helped you. Have a nice day.